the day-to-day -day conduct of your police duties, no matter how or for what reason you're called to investigate a situation in a residence, use your eyes to detect evidence of marijuana, hashish, or narcotic violations. In one sense, you might say a room is like a field investigation report or a booking sheet. But unfortunately, the information isn't typed clearly on the form waiting to be read. The evidence you're looking for is here, all right. But it has to be located before you can read it. And it has to be read with specially trained eyes. For example, Inexperienced eyes would probably overlook the valid evidence of marijuana and hashish use that are apparent on this coffee table. But in the law of evidence, you can't guess. You have to be sure. Ashtrays, being open to view and easy of access, are logical places to use your eyes for evidence of marijuana violations. And the logical evidence to look for is a partly consumed marijuana cigarette. Marijuana cigarettes are called joints. One that has been partly smoked is called a roach. There are some noticeable differences between a marijuana or grass joint and the butt of an ordinary cigarette. Note the burned end of the ordinary cigarette. Cigarette tobacco contains a burning agent that keeps the tobacco ignited and burning smoothly. Result, fine gray ash and an evenly burned end. Marijuana has no such burning agent mixed with it. Therefore, it's hard to keep lit. It burns unevenly and generally ends up as a scorched, irregularly burned butt. Note this burned hot spot in the paper. Unrefined marijuana, called unmanicured, often contains seeds. Marijuana seeds burn very hot, often exploding like tiny bombs through the paper. These bomb craters are clearly visible even at a distance to those who use their eyes. This, of course, is marijuana itself, the best evidence of all. It has distinctive characteristics. Learn them. Use your eyes. It also has a distinctive aroma. So use your nose as well as your eyes. Marijuana has a sweet, musty odor that is easy to identify. Knowing this, Pot smokers often try to hide the telltale fragrance of grass smoke by burning incense in the room. Therefore, the presence of incense or incense burners in a room should be noted. As a matter of fact, once marijuana use has been established, every kind of humidor or container that looks suspicious should be closely inspected for marijuana residue. This is a $100 block of hashish a stumbling block that may trip unsuspecting marijuana smokers and send them tumbling into the horrors of hard narcotic addiction. Imported from narcotics producing nations abroad, this concentrated mind warping substance is by volume eight to ten times as potent as marijuana grass. Hashish does not burn like tobacco, smolders slowly like Fourth of July punk when lighted. Consequently, a very small amount will get a smoker very high and keep him that way for a long time. What's a small square of tinfoil doing here? Strange as it may seem, such squares of foil are strong evidence that hashish is being smoked on the premises. Only educated eyes would recognize this bored wooden block as prima facie evidence of hashish smoking. Here's how it works. The tinfoil is pressed into the small bored hole in the homemade pipe to protect the wood from the heat. Then the foil is punctured to let smoke pass through. A small load of hashish is pressed into the tin foil and lit. And another potential narcotics victim floats out of the world of reality toward a midnight of eventual regret and despair. So, no matter how or for what reason, in the day-to-day -day conduct of your police duties, you are called to investigate a residential situation. Use your eyes.